a grain of rice. Tenaliraman was in trouble. He could not make both ends meet. He needed to earn enough to look after himself and his family. Perhaps he would have to travel to some place where he could make a good livelihood. He had heard of King Krishnadevaraya and his prosperous kingdom Vijayanagara. It was said that the king appreciated talent, particularly poetry, and was a patron of arts. He was famed for and wide for his generosity towards artists and craftsmen. Tenaliraman thought that perhaps he could find work and livelihood in Krishnadevaraya's court, which was known as Bhuvana Vijayam, the victor of earth. So he packed his belongings and went to Hampi, the capital of Vijayanagara. When he was finally called to the king's presence, he bowed and asked for the king's permission to recite a poem. The king gave him permission and when he recited the poem, the king was pleased. That was good. Name your reward, young man, beamed the king. There was a chessboard with beautifully crafted pieces lying in the court. Tenali Raman's eyes fell on it and he pointed towards it. Would you like that? Is that all? asked the king, amused. No, sir. Would you give me one grain of rice for a square and then double it for the each next square? requested Tenali Raman. What? said the king, totally surprised. Rice grains, neither gold nor coins. Yes, sir, that's all I need, Tenali Raman replied, bowing low. So be it, bring in some rice, ordered the king. Rice was brought in and measurement began. One grain on the first square, two on the second, four on the third, and so on. Soon the count went up to hundreds, then thousands, lakhs, and finally crores, lakhs of crores. The court was thunderstruck. And even the king watched in stunned silence as more rice and was called for from the granary. So the granary was empty. Tenali Raman smiled and bowed before the king again. Sir, I do not wish to empty the royal granary. I was just trying to show your court that small steps can help us achieving mighty results. I am your humble subject. Sir, I pray that you and your kingdom may grow in prosperity like this grain of rice. The king was deeply impressed with the lesson Tenali Raman had taught. But even more was he impressed by the wisdom of this young man. Tenali Raman became a part of Bhuvana Vijayam and was later included among the Astadigajas, the eight luminaries of the court.